You are taking a live look over York this morning at 745 on your chilly Tuesday morning. Well, we are kicking off our series this morning. I'm kind of calling it Acne 101. We're with uh, uh, board certified dermatologist Dr. Holly Gunn, of course, from Lancaster Skin Care. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me, Courtney. Well, so we're talking to you uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays for the next two weeks all about acne, which is something that it's not just teens that have to fight, right? You, I'm sure you deal with adults all the time who are dealing with it. Absolutely. And even so from babies up until, you know, 40s or 50s, people are struggling with acne. Oh, and it's such a pain. But I know there's some myths and all sorts of <laughs> other things that you know people you just there's so much information out there you just don't know what's right and what's wrong so let's get into that first the first thing you always hear or maybe is a misconception is that acne is kind of a you, we were kind of joking a dirty face disease not at all what you would call it right yep exactly acne is more of a hormonal disease not a dirty face disease so as americans we tend to overwash and then when we look at people with acne we're like oh they're dirty they have acne and it's not true it's just that they have a hormonal imbalance and then talking about dealing with acne and and, and washing your face i think a lot of times too people when when you do have that you just want to scrub and, and exfoliate and yeah. use all these harsh products yeah that... so let's bust that myth okay. we do not want to scrub our our faces and you don't want to use any kind of really harsh like micro beads or some of those um, washes that have like sand in them. If you think about it, the pores are actually very small. Even though you can see them, you can barely see them. So anything that you can see in your uh, cream or that you can feel, if you can feel it or, 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 or touch it, then it's going to be too rough for you. You really need to use ingredients to exfoliate and get inside those pores and clean them out. So ingredients like salicylic acid or glycolic acid or some of these citric acids that are available on the market, those are actually going to get into the pores and clean them out, not really scrubbing your face. That's actually going to exacerbate the acne that you have on your face. Now it's going to make them look more red and more apparent. And what about sun too? Because I think sometimes people hear, oh, if I lay out in the sun, it'll dry out my skin and it'll help with the acne. That is a, a big myth that we can bust right here. The sun, even though it is anti-inflammatory, so it can decrease the redness of your acne, overall it doesn't help your acne. You can actually flare after a couple of days of being in, in the sun. So I would think that sun, or not even just thinking, I know that actually sun can make acne worse as opposed to make it better. And it certainly can make the scarring from acne worse. I know, let's talk about foods too. Because I know growing up, I always heard chocolate uh, was always a big uh, cause of acne. Yep, and I wish I could bust that myth because I love chocolate, uh, but research is now getting better at looking into diet and 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 diet does definitely play a role because it affects our hormones and again acne is more of a hormonal disease so you definitely want to eat the healthier foods so high in antioxidants so like fish nuts whole grains um, and you want to avoid chocolate potentially there are some research coming out there oh, saying no. even so chocolate specifically there is a chance so if you know and it's not in everyone so if you can eat chocolate and get away with it and you don't struggle from acne i wouldn't say avoid it completely but it's something that you should think about you should think about just high sugary foods highly processed foods um potentially milk too even though i you know we we are always a little nervous saying that because we know that milk is healthy because we're getting our vitamin d from it but if you're struggling from acne and you're using like the normal treatments and they're not working for you, you really need to think about diet. And I would imagine with all this stuff too, it just varies depending on the person too. What works for somebody may not work for somebody else. Yeah, we're all very different and what causes our acne can be different from what causes the next person's acne. And you guys very quickly, I know we're running out of time, you guys have a blog on your website as well that kind of details everything too? Yes, if you go to LancasterSkinCenter.com and click on our blog, we have a whole acne series on there that talks about pretty much everything that's scientifically proven to help acne. Okay, great. Well, Holly, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Okay. We'll put all the information on our website, fox43.com. Just scroll down and click on morning, and then we'll also put a link to the blog as well. Have a great day. Thanks. Jeff, what's going on? Hey, we're looking at